Crafting an Effective Travel Consent Letter Hello and welcome to our discussion today. We will be covering a crucial topic especially for those of you who often travel with minors or send your kids on trips without your physical presence, the Travel Consent Letter. This document is critical in ensuring a smooth travel experience and here's how you can put it together. What is a Travel Consent Letter? A travel consent letter is a document that permits a third party to travel with minors. This letter helps to protect the rights of kids under the age of 18 who are traveling without their parents or guardians or with only one parent. Who should write the travel consent letter? Generally, the persons not traveling with the child should write the travel consent letter. Both parents or legal guardians should ideally sign the letter especially for international travel, unless one parent has sole custody. What information should be included? When creating a travel consent letter, certain essential details should be included. Here are the key elements. 1. The child's information. Include the child's full name, date of birth, place of birth, and passport number. 2. The travel details. Clearly state the departure and return dates, destinations, reason for travel, and accommodation details. 3. The companion's information. Include full name, date of birth, passport number, and relationship to the child of the person the minor will be traveling with. 4. Parent or guardian information. Names, contact details, and addresses of the parents or legal guardians not traveling with the child. 5. Consent statement. Explicit statement that the parents or guardians give permission for the child to travel with the named individual. 6. Emergency medical permission. A statement authorizing the traveling adult to make medical decisions for the child, if necessary. Remember to sign and date the letter, and for added security, consider having it notarized. Is there a standard format? While there's no universal format, Keeping the letter clear, concise, and factual is key. It's recommended to include all the information we discussed in Section 3. It might also be helpful to check the specific requirements of the country of destination. Some may require the letter to be written in their official language or need additional documentation. Creating a travel consent letter might seem a bit daunting but keeping these points in mind will help you make sure it's complete. This letter is an essential document for the safety and well-being of children traveling without their parents or legal guardians. And finally, make sure you create the travel consent letter well before the intended travel date to avoid last-minute rushes. Safe travels!